Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, this is a video response to Jordan, a religion free deist, and his latest video uh, about the child sacrifice in uh, Ezekiel. Uh, go see that video first if you like. Um, some may be surprised here um, that I will uh, disagree with Jordan here. Yes, uh, some of you will like that and some of you will be disappointed. But, uh, let me explain why. Um, this is a, a quick reading. I didn't go into a whole full-fledged Bible study. I just uh, don't have the time nor the patience. But, uh, looking at the, uh, the chapter in context uh, of Ezekiel, as well as quickly looking at Jeremiah, I do not see a contradiction. And I'll tell you why. Um, and I know, that'll surprise many. Because you'd think I'd be one to look for the contradictions. <laughs> but, um, uh, looking at Ezekiel chapter 20, it, it seems to me that uh, God here was actually holding back judgment a couple of times uh, on the Israeli people. Um, because he didn't want them to look foolish in front of the Gentiles and the heathens. And he held back the judgment. Um, but apparently, they continued to sacrifice uh, to other idols. And so, from what I'm getting out of the reading here, uh, if I go to uh, Ezekiel, uh, what was, oh, sorry, uh, we're looking at Ezekiel 20, 25 to 26. I'm reading from the New King James Version. Uh, let's see. Let's go to 22. Uh, Nevertheless, I withdrew my hand and acted for my name's sake, that it should not be profaned in the sight of the Gentiles, in, whom, in whose sight I had brought them out. Also, I raised my hand in an oath to those in the wilderness, and I would scatter them among the Gentiles and disperse them throughout the countries. Because they had not executed my judgments, but had despised my statutes, profaned my Sabbaths, and their eyes were fixed on their father's idols. Therefore, I also gave them up to statute, statutes that were not good, and judgments by which they could not live. And I pronounced them unclean because of their ritual gifts, and that in that, in that, I like this uh, translation, in that they caused all their firstborn to pass through the fire that might make them desolate, and that they may know that I am the Lord your God. I, I don't see the command here of... Um, and I don't recall any command uh, in earlier texts of God uh, commanding children to be passed through the fire. What I think this is saying here is that, you know what? God's kind of saying to his people, listen, you want to go and keep disobeying me, disobeying my Sabbaths, then, you know what? I'm going to let you do what you want to do. And... What they wanted to do was sacrifice to other idols. As in Jeremiah, it talks about sacrificing the children. Um, they sacrificed the innocents and their children to Baal. So, I don't see God here um, saying that He's commanding them to uh, burn their kids. Rather, that He is going to allow them to do what they want to do. And... By allowing them to do what they wanted, wanted to do, these people, in essence, then went and sacrificed their children. That's how I'm reading the text. And he's allowing, he's going to allow it to happen. And in the, how I see it is that by allowing them to do what they want to do, because that's their choice, and now I got a freaking damn fly in the video. <laughs> Um, they're going to be desolate because of um, they're going to be sacrificing their firstborn, uh, which will leave uh, I I would see it as no inheritance. Uh, you're going to have less <laughs> less uh, less you know people being born, less kids being born. Therefore, their inheritance, the the generations, they can't proceed, and this is going to cause uh, a desolation. Uh, they're going to be outcasted because they're disobeying God. And only because they chose to do it that way. 
So, uh, yeah, Jordan, I, I would have to disagree. Uh, just, again, quick glance. Uh, I'm looking at a quick glance of the context of uh, Ezekiel chapter 20 compared to Jeremiah, as you asked. And I don't see the command coming from God for uh, him to... Um, for Israel to burn their children. Rather, it's because of their uh, own disobedience. And it seems here that God withdrew his hand of any kind of judgment two or three times. And uh, still they continued to disobey. So he said, pretty much, you know, I'm going to let you do what you want to do. And because of that, they wound up uh, burning their children, their firstborn, to another God. So, um, that's how I see it. And especially in, in the New King James Version, verse 26, uh, it says that, and I pronounced them unclean because of their ritual gifts, in that they caused all their firstborn to pass through the fire. You know? Um, and uh, if you want, um, quickly, again, back to 25, therefore so I gave them statutes that were not good. I don't have a problem with that, really, to tell you the truth. Um, he could have said, listen, these things are not good. God said, these things are not good. And which things were not good? And that was sacrificing the children to Israel. So, I, I don't see a um, contradiction. I could be wrong. Love the video response. All right, Jordan, be well. And uh, I always look forward to your videos. <laughs> You're like, if I see your video up, boom, I'm there. <laughs> Take care, everybody. God bless. Yes, God bless.